Dale Brown throws occasionally a nice right uppercut, short on the inside. I think that could be an effective punch for him here as Bell leans in. 33 years old is Dale Brown, and O'Neill Bell is 30. So those guys, as you mentioned, conserving energy a little bit here and there, stealing some time when they can get it. Nice combination. Big Dale shot Brown. by Brown gets in. O'Neill Bell is back, but the left hook of Dale Brown, a prominent weapon in round Ooh. three, and Bell is shaken up. Can Brown take advantage? O'Neill Bell is in trouble. Dale Brown trying to close the show early. Can we get some third round fireworks? The left hook just missed. And then O'Neill Bell is back with the uppercuts. And O'Neill Bell knows he cannot outbox the boxer. He will have to go with big power shots. And he's trying a very exciting final 40 seconds of round three. And this is what championship boxing is all about. The crowd is up. They got a partial standing O for that. You see Dale Brown missing the left hand but landing the right hand over the top. Same, same combination again. And we see O'Neill Bell just stare at him. Well, he really went to work here, and he had Bell in some real trouble. Yeah, right there we see Bell's legs wobbling. But Bell got thrown. He got a minute off. Warriors Boxing Promotions and the Seminole Tribe of Florida, in association with Golden Boy Promotions and the Seminole Coconut Creek Casino, presents Thunderstorm at the Creek Championship Boxing. The Seminole Coconut Creek Casino in Coconut Creek, Florida is our host for this exciting night of boxing. Our main event is the IBF lightweight title eliminator hitting number two ranked Ricky Showtime Quiles from Puerto Rico against fifth ranked Javier Jaregui from Mexico. Our co-feature is the WBO and IBF Latino middleweight championship pairing the Colombian superstar Edison Miranda taking on Nicaragua's favorite son, Jose Varela. This title would be a major cornerstone for either combatant. This is an exciting matchup. Hello everyone, I'm Bob Alexander. For the first time in 2005, Warriors Boxing returns to the Seminole Coconut Creek Casino here in Coconut Creek, Florida. In our main event this evening, it'll be Ricky Showtime Quiles taking on the challenge of former champion Javier Rodriguez. Ricky Quiles is a young man who was on the verge of realizing his dream to be a world champion. The question is, is he ready mentally as well as physically to take on a tough guy like Rodriguez? Yeah, Ricky Quiles has shown us in the past that he has all the skills it takes to be a world champion. But tonight, he'll have to show us that he has the desire and the fire at age 35 to still be able to contend at the top. We'll also get a look at the top unbeaten middleweight prospect Edison Miranda. He is going to be challenging for his first professional world championship as he's going to be taking on a tough challenger in Jose Varela, a hard puncher from Nicaragua. It's going to be the IBF and WBO Latino middleweight championship. Yeah, Edison Miranda in his last fight out, he showed us that not only does he have power, but he has the stamina to go 10 rounds. Tonight, I expect something different as his opponent will be putting the pressure on him and making him have to punch back. The temperatures are hot outside in South Florida, but we expect the real heat to be inside the Seminole Coconut Creek Casino, where Warriors Boxing brings you Thunderstorm at the Creek. Nice big crowd here at the Seminole Coconut Creek Casino as Warriors Boxing returns for the first time in 2005 for Thunderstorm at the Creek. It is time for our main event. Scheduled 12 rounds, it's an IBF lightweight eliminator, Ricky Showtime Quiles, takes on former world champion Javier Jaregui in a 12-rounder. The winner goes on for the IBF lightweight championship. Gilles' fight most of the night. Yeah, both fighters in tremendous condition. Both of them got lots of steam left here, but I think uh, Gilles has got a little more in the tank. A little more speed, a little more pep. Facial expression of Ricky Quiles has not changed all night long. Very steely-eyed, very determined. Very focused. Very focused indeed. Quiles 
continues to stay on the outside, showing as much spunk and movement as he did in the very first round. Wadegi trying to land something big to perhaps score that home run knockout. Now reaching with his punches and catches a quick counter left hand by Ricky Keyless. Yeah, Wadegi can just not solve the Keyless puzzle. He's He's trying, but he's a little too slow, a little too short on his punches, and he slips there on the canvas. We hope you're enjoying tonight's telecast of Thunderstorm at the Creek. It's a special treat for us to be sending this broadcast to more than 800,000 of our best and bravest, the servicemen and women who so bravely protect our freedom. They're watching in 177 countries around the world as a free service of AFN. And Keyless trying to add a punctuation mark here his performance so far, keeping the pressure on, throwing lots of punches. Wargi swinging for the fences there and missing. That's the only chance he really has here at this point, Sid. He's got to land something big. Yeah, he does, but he needs to do it while he's moving forward, not back like that. Gilas trying to end this fight with a statement as he backs Wargi against the ropes and lets both hands fly, showing no fear of Wargi's power at this point. Yep, Keyless not taking any chances. He wants to end the fight strong, show the judges that he's the one deserving to fight for the world title. Ricky Keyless backing up Wadegi now. Muscling him, actually. Throws the short left hand. And Wadegi at this point simply looks like he'll be happy to get through the 12 rounds. Yeah, Keyless is too strong right now. He's throwing too many combinations. Or he's just trying to survive this round. Ricky Keyless wants to leave an indelible impression on the three judges as he lets both hands fly again. Counting down the final seconds of this 12 round IBF lightweight eliminator, Ricky Showtime Keyless, perhaps on his way to fight for the world championship. And that's the end of the fight as Ricky Keyless goes to the neutral corner. 113. And Judge Alex Levine scores the fight 116, 112 for your winner, Ricky Keyless! So Ricky Keyless, the winner in the unanimous decision as he defeats former champion Javier Harege. Ricky Keyless will now move on to fight for the IBF lightweight championship of the world.